where did I leave you? In year 11, I think I was making little short things and just messing around and stuff. So I was trying to do this film over the summer and I was like, yeah, I was telling all my friends like, oh yeah, I want to do this film. Oh yeah, by the way, I might have to cut this into three parts just in case it's too long. Chop it up so it's easier to digest, you know. Also to make it more visual for you later on, do like a little documentary style of doing this. This is just like something I can bang out now. So I was trying to make this film like over the summer, I think. And I was like, yeah, this is what it's going to be. And it was just like a weird little film. And I was piecing it all together. And, but I couldn't get certain people to be in it. And, you know, and then it just, uh, I didn't have really a clear plan. I got like halfway through the script and then I was just like, let me just shoot this. And I got stuck. So I was worrying what everyone was going to think when it comes out and when I have to show it to people and stuff. So I kind of abandoned that film. My results weren't too great. Moving on from that, I had to pick a college. And by the time I was trying to go into one, the only option left was Lambeth. So I was like, all right. <laughs> Lambeth College it is. Started taking a BTEC media where you do like game design, web design, moving image, photography, mixed multimedia course I was doing. Everyone's project I would edit like all the projects basically and not all of them but I was just getting a bit like ah I didn't like it so much so I left. Started um, applying like to do work experience in the Soho area. Write out a lot of letters saying I'd like to come in and do work experience in post houses. So I went to a lot of different companies. White House Post Production, Sumo's Editing, Nice Biscuits to name a few and then I went to HSI Between the Eyes. So I did a lot of that and doing lots of different temp work. But um, yeah I couldn't seem to get into anywhere permanently like five days a week doing running in a post-production place like a year of like work experience and temping um i ended up at this place between the eyes i just finished this film um shifty and i met the director of that and he was just like oh what do you want to do and i was like i want to do this and that and he was just like giving me advice and stuff then i met this um other like young director there who's um emil narva he does like really big videos now you should check out like his stuff he for calvin harris and like Jesse J and like lots of different people. So while I was there, I was like photocopying treatments for the shoot that he had coming up, which was with Tinchy Strider and Teo Cruz, um, Take Me Back. So I was doing that and then after that I was like, oh, can I, can I come? Like, can I come on the shoot? And he was like, oh, I have to ask my producer. I was like, oh, she was quite cool. And she was like, oh yeah, yeah, you sure you can come. I can see what's going on and stuff. And that was my first official, yeah, it was like my first like professional shoot, should I say, um, where it was like, I wasn't getting paid or nothing, but it was just seeing what's going on. And it just, everything just looked so massive, like the set.